for the gods are waiting. I am here on behalf of my father for the annual sacrifice. These three cocks represent my father, my brother, Ejike, and myself, Obina. Let it be. What, what, what do we do? Nothing. Somebody's going to die. We have to do something. I cannot change what is about to happen. What is it that is about to happen? Your father. Is, 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 is my sick father going to die? He has tired and bound something. What is the meaning of that? You are are to see your father and ask him instead of me wasting my time explaining it. Refused to accept the sacrifice. <coughs> Can we talk tomorrow? Father, I said the gods refused to accept the sacrifice. <coughs> Your wife wants to see you. Tell her I'm coming. I think she's very sick. What is wrong with you? Uh, I have a headache. I've just been and I feel tired. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let me take you to the hospital. Come on. Dr. Come on. Mizzi just left here, but I'm not feeling any better. My love, come, come on, let me take you to the hospital, okay? Mm. Come on, come on. Adako. What? She's been vomiting and she's shivering. What? My love, I, I, I'm, I'm coming, okay? So bring back dignity and harmony in play. Father, tell me what I need to know. Or I will suck this house on fire. Father. 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 Please, please. What is the problem? 
But no, my father is acting strange. He's not moving. The sky is overcast. Oh no, we don't have time. He's dying. Please. My prince, what will be, will be. Oh God. It's written, it's written. The is a divine appointment. You can never turn down the will of God. Though it may delay. Where do you think you are going to? I am going to where I was sent to. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Go back and get this fixed now. Are you alright? Stretch. Yes. He wasn't moving and he wasn't breathing too. No. Your Majesty, I'd like to talk to you alone. already happened. Let the gods deal with it. Your Majesty, you are speaking in riddles. Can you please unravel the puzzle? didn't say anything reasonable. I think we need to see the DB. It's alright, but that will be tomorrow. No. Tomorrow might be too late. Everyone in this palace is sick. My wife, my daughter, and even some of the maids. You think something is wrong somewhere? Even the DB said it. 
my father is hiding something. So, the king wants to speak with you. Zora, I'm coming. You can tell me what is going on. Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Sacred Calabash must be taken away from the palace. Or death will visit the palace until there is no one left. But the Sacred Calabash has not been removed from the palace before. Even our forefathers didn't do it. Oh no. The Calabash has been desecrated. By whom? That question should be answered by the king. Oh no, the sacred calabash must be taken away from the palace. There will be no one left in the palace if the sacred calabash is not taken away. Hmm. At least something has to be done to cleanse the land. A sacrifice or something. Oh no, official kingdom. It is the gods who has said sacrifice, not me. You can go to a three-branch road and make sacrifice. If they accept, good. Oh no. The sacred calabash must be taken away from the palace. What can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. What can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Of of our of what we have been through. God of our land. Please take it easy on us when the time comes. said we should remove the sacred calabash from the palace, then we don't need to waste time in doing it. You are correct. But do you go will not agree to do so? Have you spoken to him about it? No, I haven't. 
but I know the Igwe. He will not agree. Hmm. You know, the palace is ours. If we allow evil to befall it, we might face punishment. We might face doom. Oh, you cool? No. Everything that is happening now, what is befalling us? I know the ego is responsible. I have tried to talk to him. I have asked him to tell me what he knows. But he has refused. All my efforts are to no avail. Hmm. You said the Dibia said we can do sacrifice if we like. Yes. Then let us go and do it tonight. Keep sacred things sacred. Mm. Your Majesty, I am so happy. I am happy that you are now well. Thanks to our ancestors, they were the ones who sent me back. <laughs> <laughs> and they will continue to send you back until you are old enough to reap the fruits of your labor. You see? <laughs> My son, Ejike, will be returning from America next week. <gasps> Yes, and um, after the Ophala, I intend presenting him to the town as the next Igwe. Ah, Igwe, that's a very good idea. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. And Igwe, I hope he will be coming to live with us now. Well, I am still praying, but he has no choice as far as I'm concerned because he's going to be the next Igwe. Ah, yes, so he has to be here. <laughs> he has to be here so that he can be learning from you, you know. <laughs> Let's drink because I've asked the maids to make a sumptuous meal for you. Oh. <laughs> Forget about your wife's kitchen. <laughs> My prince, don't worry. Hmm? Everything will be fine. Uh, on my part, I'm trying to do one or two things. Since the king has refused to tell me what the problem is. But don't worry, I'll take care of things. It's okay, I know. I've heard. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yes, this is Prince Obina. What? What happened? He can't be dead. I spoke with him last night. Oh no. Oh. Ah. My prince. What is it? Someone just told me that EJK is dead. EJK, your brother? My love, talk to me. You have been like this since you returned from the market. Is everything all right? My brother, HK. Yes, what about him? He's dead. What? How? What happened? Baby, talk to me. What happened? He was shot in a party. A night party. My goodness, this is not good. He shouldn't have died like this. What was he doing in a night party? How do I tell Father this? What about his wife and kids? I heard that his wife said that she will never come back to Nigeria. My love, you need 
need to find a way to tell your father. You also need to talk to Ono. I've told him. Okay. What did he say? The elders will come and break the news. So this is why I've been having this weird feelings. So this is this is why I've been having all this weird dreams. Majesty, you and I know that if you don't tell me what you did so that we can appease the gods, another person will die in this palace. Oh no, Your Majesty, I have trusted someone before. He failed, he betrayed me, stabbed me in the back. I don't want to go down that lane again. Your Majesty, I am not someone. I'm your closest confidant in this kingdom. Look, if you want me to swear with my blood that whatever you tell this my right ear, the left one will not hear it. I'll do it. So trust me, Igwe. Majesty, you know a king is not supposed to shed human blood, let alone in his palace, in his bedroom, right before the sacred calabash. Your Majesty, you do who were your for? Okay. Mm. I missed you. Me too. How long do we keep hiding this from the people? You worry too much. I have told you that before the next of father, I'll was... take wine to your people. This was the same thing you said last year. Oh, so you don't believe your king? I don't even know what to believe anymore. And I'm not even getting any younger. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not green anymore. I'll stay here till day break. Uh, oh, my beauty. Did you have to keep the king waiting? I needed to make sure that everyone is asleep. Uh, come here, come on. This? Would you give the king a hug? You look sad, my love. What is it? Here is bad news. Bad news? Is your father well? I'm pregnant. What you call bad news? Of course. People will talk. Come. Would people still talk when I take wine to your father next week? Yes. For real. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> Oh, oh, palace duties. Alright, leave me alone. Let her die. Alright. Uh, a cup of tea will be okay at the dining. Alright. Come. Sweet little angel. <laughs> Because
Yes, what is it, Ola? Oh, really? Sit. My king, it's not like I'm asking for too much. It's just that I need some money to change my ways. And also, my father's house, the roof is bad. I need some money to change it too. Hope I'm not asking for too much. <laughs> Is that why you are looking sad and denying your pretty face a smile? Yes, my lord. You should know the king is capable. Don't worry. I'll give you one million naira for you to fix your father's roof and then change your wardrobe. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's why I love you. Thank you. Little things that worry little people. Ndukwe, please calm down, okay? You see what? Just when I come back, we'll discuss this. Your baby is fine. Everything is okay. I'm taking care of it. And I'm coming back with a huge surprise. And we're both going to be happy about it. No one is taking me away from you. You know that. You know I love you. And very soon we are going to leave this country. Okay? I love you too. Bye, bye, bye. We'll talk later. You fooled me? No, my king. I was on a call with my brother. You are evil. Possible for this pregnancy? Ndukwe touched me some time ago, but I'm not sure. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth, and I will forgive you and spare your life. Am I responsible for the pregnancy? Ndukwe touched me some time ago, but I'm not even sure. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I think I... Liar! Black and liar! That's who you are! How oh, is I'm going to lose this money? I don't feel so. all morning and now you're crying. <laughs> What's really the problem? Something terrible happened. <laughs> Did someone die? It's better somebody died. I feel like disappearing. Oh, yeah. Don't talk like that. Mm. Just tell me what the problem is. Who knows? I might advise you on how to handle it. But you can't solve it by crying yourself all the time. I've messed up my life. Oh. I want to die. My goodness! <laughs> my goodness! Ola, oh, oh, it's okay. 
Ella, 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 wait, hear me. Ella. <laughs> I'm going to my father's house. Your father's house? Yes. Did anything happen? Nothing happened. I'm just tired. I can't keep walking here. Ola! No one is treating you badly in this palace. Besides, you're the chief maid and the king likes you a lot. Does it look like I care? I don't even want anybody to like me any longer. Hola. What is going on here? Your Majesty, it's, 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 it's Ola. She says she's returning to her father's house. Take that back inside. I'm the one who tells anyone when to go. Take it inside. Cautious and careful in life To avoid regret Living in grief, be faithful to your cause and your subjects. Always be genuine. Your Highness, I'm sorry. You will not serve my food anymore. From today onwards, Ego becomes a chief maid, and I do not want to see you near anything I would eat. Is that clear? Thank you. You may leave now. I'm sorry. and careful in life to avoid regrets and living in grief be faithful to your cause and your subjects always be genuine Do you want me to kill you i'm sorry my king i came to tell you the truth <laughs> Come. Come. How did you? After all I did for you. Gods. The sacred calabash 
It's for protection of the throne and not a symbol of royalty. Yes. I don't want to go anywhere. Maybe you would go there with my son. It's okay. Yeah. Your Majesty, we need to remove the sacred calabash from the palace to avoid death toll. We need to do the right thing. Please, let's remove it very fast until it is cleansed. I'll think about it. You have to be fast about that thinking. You have to be fast. Now listen, and listen very carefully. If this should happen again, <laughs> you might be on a journey of no return. What I'm saying in essence is, do not desecrate the sacred calabash again, or it will bring your death. <laughs> I say again, it will bring your death. Do not say I did not warn you. <laughs> God's no better. Now we have to cancel the Ophala. Hmm. Obina. Hmm. Ibe I hate to be reminded of the fact that my son Obina will not be the next king because of his inability to have a male child. I know that. Something else has to be done. You will. And if nothing is done, after one year, this kinship will leave this place to another place. Iwe, I will help you to protect the throne until Obina will have a male child. Ibezim. I have great respect for you. Do not talk anymore before I lose that respect. You said you wanted to see me. If this is why you wanted to see me. What Ibezim did it's a sign that this throne is under a threat because of Obina's inability to have a male child. I must do something. But what must I do? Now that uh, my son Ejike, uh, apparent to the throne of Isiala, is dead, I want to present Obina, my only surviving son, to the town as the next Igwe. Uh, Your Majesty, I, I think we should discuss only matters concerning the Ophala festival now. Ojuku, no pretenses. I know what you want to say. You think I cannot present Obina, my son, as the next king of Isiala, simply because he has no male child. 
Um, your Majesty, as you know, your honor, I will not want to deceive you. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't pretend as if we have forgotten the customs and traditions of our people. Instead of us to do something that will offend the gods, I strongly suggest that we allow Obina to get a married child before we go into that subject matter. But for how long is this going to take? And for how long are we going to wait? Ah, Your Majesty, that is the question for the gods. Huh? <laughs> but that does not stop us from celebrating the Ophala. Your Majesty, can we now discuss about the Ofala Festival? This means that my curiosity, I was right after all. What is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Your Highness, your food is ready. Your Highness, you... What did you say? I said your food is ready. I'd love to have some quiet time now. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, wait. My king? I'd love to talk with you inside. <sighs> Have I done anything wrong? Twenty-five years old, Your Majesty. Tell me a little about your father. My father? Oh. He passed away when I was still an infant. Have you ever dreamt of being a queen? A queen? No, Your Majesty. Never. No, no, it's okay. Um, you can go. Your Majesty. For sure and careful in life To avoid regrets and living in grief Be faithful to your cause and your subjects Always be genuine and honest. Follow your process in life. Keep sacred things separate. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make. What is wrong with him? talking about asking if I've ever dreamt of becoming a queen I mean how can I dream of becoming a queen like is something wrong with this ah! <laughs> what 
What is wrong with you? You just scared the life out of me. Who wants to make you a queen? Is the king planning to make you his second wife? Well, what are you talking about? Everything is possible for him. If that is the case, congratulations in advance. You're a good woman. And you make a good queen. <clears throat> Slide back. Could, could that really be what His Majesty was insinuating? Your Majesty, needless to tell you that uh, whatever affects you, affects me. Mm -hmm. I am worried. Don't you think Obina needs to find himself a second wife? Eh? So that you don't lose this throne while you are alive. In fact, although you cannot be more apt, this same issue has been keeping me awake all night. But I know what to do about it. Okay, if you say so. But whatever you want to do, you better do it very fast. Because we don't have time. Certainly. This is a sign that you're a good friend. I can't thank you enough. Thanks for your concern. Thank you. Uh, wouldn't you have something to drink? Ah, no, 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 no. You know that I have to go and see my in-laws. <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah. King, you sent for me. Sit. Thank you. It's been seven years since you last conceived. And I'm wondering, what could be the problem? Is it coming from you or from my son? The doctor said we are okay to have kids. What is keeping the child from coming? They will come in God's time. God's time? Do you realize your husband will not be made king if he doesn't have a male child? I am hearing that for the first time, my king. Now you know. What else do you have to do apart from waiting for God's time? Have you ever heard of the saying that a new pestle makes the old mortar potent? No. Go and think about it. Be careful, handle 
careful in life. New pesto. Making the water potent. How do I solve this riddle? No. No! I cannot do anything like this. No. Whatever you do can make or my you. Whatever that has to do with life. Whatever that can take or give life. Be careful. Is it not an abomination? It is better to appease the gods than to be put to shame in front of everybody in the whole town. And then what belongs to you taken from you and given to another? What about my husband? What about me? What about your husband indeed? He will soon be presented as the next king of this land at the next Ofala festival. Mm. Thank you, Father. Let me go and see my mechanic. All right. Oh, we'll see you. He will never hear about it. My king, what if he's not a male child? You don't have to worry about that. Go. Go and start a new page for your husband and for all of us. Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Nobody must know about this. Not even your left ear. If he wants to hear, cut it off. You can trust me, my king. I will do two things. First, to trust you now. Or to kill you later when the trust turns sour. I believe you know what I mean. Yes, my king. Good. You may go. My king, where do I meet her? I will give you that information on telephone. Right? You look very restless. Ego. Yes. Can I confide in you? Of course you can, my lady. The thing is. My lady, calm down. Whatever it is, you can share it with me. Tell me. Is the king asking you to do something you cannot do? I love my husband. I know. I cannot bear to do this to him. And why on earth would this come from his father? My lady, I still don't understand what you're talking about. What is it? I mean, what is his father asking you to do? Never mind. I know what to do. 
Please be careful. Have you made up your mind? Yes. Good. I have made up my mind not to do it. I can't. You can't? Yes, my king. It is against my faith. Get out of my presence. Go. What rubbish. How did it go? God will not let me put myself to shame. I like that, my lady. I very much like what you've just said. You see, you're a very strong woman. Actually, the strongest woman I know. Please, don't let anyone, anything, pressure you into doing something your spirit is not comfortable with. Hmm? Echo, my lady, you are like a sister to me. <laughs> You've been very good to me, and I'm delighted to have you in my life. You're welcome. <laughs> Get me water to drink. Okay. Is that all? Yes. Okay. Do you have an answer to what I asked you the last time? No, Your Majesty. I've still not been able to come up with a suitable answer. I'm sorry. A 25-year-old woman is no longer a child. My son needs a male child. And I would like you to have that child for him. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't betray my mistress. I have not asked you to betray your mistress. I will send you to any country of your choice to have the child. In addition, you would have a monthly allowance of two million naira to yourself. Your Majesty, if I do this, my mistress will be hurt. She has conscience. The legacy of the royal household is more important than your mistress. It is better that she is hurt than for the royal family not to have an heir to the throne. My king. This is a difficult one. All right. I will double the amount. Think about your poor mother. All you can do for her. Your Majesty. I'm scared. I'll give you time to go and think about this. Come back to me in three hours with an answer. Your Majesty.
This temptation is a huge one. Which temptation is too huge for you? You know, since Ola disappeared from this palace, I see you as a potential queen of this land. Chuma! Since when did you start talking like other illiterate servants? I'm sorry. So let us go back to the issue you were talking about. Mind your business. What if the king wants to make you his wife? Chuma! Can you just stop it already? What if, what if someone hears you? I will stop. But think about it. I have eyes. <laughs> Oh, I know you. <laughs> ego think. They're like ego. Ego, you, you, you. Ah, my lady. I'll soon be done. Well, you know, She has suffered enough already. How will she feel if I do this to her? My lady, sorry, sorry, ma, sorry, sorry. You kept me waiting. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Did you come with the answer? Yes, Your Majesty. I finally made up my mind not to betray the woman that has supported me in so many ways. A woman who stood by me from my infant days as though I was her own. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't bring myself to betray her. Get out. Yeah. Yes, Your Majesty. Come back here. Your Majesty. What if I make you my wife? What? Your Majesty. But I, uh, I can't breathe. Calm down. This is too much for me, Your Majesty. Calm down. Yes. Consider all the benefits that will accrue to you as the queen of this land. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't. I'm sorry. Why not? I, 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 I'm just not ready. Yes, I... Go. Let no other ear hear this. Yes, Your Majesty. Kingship is a divine appointment. You can never turn down the will of God. So, how is your father? He's well. 
He sent his regards. Oh, great. But do you know your father has not visited me in three years? He don't mean it. But you should know my father. He's always busy. Oh, come on. Don't speak for your father. <laughs> don't be as cunning as your father. My father? No. <laughs> Good day, Ah, good day. Good day. Ah, come and meet uh, Belly. Belly has been Obina's childhood friend. Good day. You're welcome. Well, she was about leaving. <laughs> okay. You're my own now. You must tell your father I miss his smiles. <laughs> Drop me to my house. Of course, I will. <laughs> you think I object to that? Come on, let's go. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Good to see you. I can't wait to see them happy. planning on getting my husband another wife. Hmm. Your husband, my son, needs a male child. This royal household needs an heir to the throne. I cannot sit and watch my enemies take this throne. This is not fair. It is not fair at all. This is not fair. It is not fair at all. This is not fair. Whatever that has to do with life, whatever that can take or give life, be careful. And do you want an heir? You do not have anything to do with the living. I cannot rest. I command you in the Name of the spirit of my forefathers. Go back to the land of the dead. Why would God allow this to happen to me? My princess, do not speak against God in your anger. God can fix this at his own time, which of course is the best.
What a beautiful world. Woo! Love is so beautiful. Where Life are you coming back from? So sweet. I've never had this kind of fun in a long while. So you went out with that woman? I went out with a friend. Obina, you don't look at me in the face and lie to me. Your father is planning on getting you a second wife. Oh, Ada, come on, stop it. Don't be silly, okay? I do what I like. I do what makes me happy now. I don't want anybody to waste my time with your serious life. This hurts. Sorry, my oh. friend. What did you just do? Sorry, my friend. You slapped me. Oh, I am going to make you regret this. Sorry, my prince. You are going to regret this. My prince, please. My prince. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Princess, my princess, let his anger subside. He will come around. I'm very sure of that. Please. Please, I'm sorry.
and I'm sorry, please. I am not your enemy, and I'm definitely not the lazy one who refused to give the throne an heir. You should be grateful to me, and let that sink. Oh, who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity? you want out of the palace? My king, her services are no longer required in this palace. Let us leave no, my stop. house. Get out! You are the one who will soon leave your bedroom for her. Excuse me. Help me. She's leaving this house this minute. Stop that. Yes. Stop that. Yes. Take her things back into the house. What? Before I get angry with you. Take them back. Now. My king. Now. I'm not going to repeat myself. enjoyed yourselves. Of course, my goodness. I can't believe what I've been missing all this while. Prince Obina is such an incredible man. Did you just find it out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just telling her that um, we will be taking wine to your people this weekend. Oh, really? 
My goodness, that is so delightful. I promise you, Your Highness, I am going to fill this whole palace with lots and lots of children. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the next lord of this kingdom. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. 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 Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Ah, I have taken care of you since the very first day I brought you into this palace. Why would you join the world to make mockery of me? I am not making mockery of anyone. I would never wish to see you in the shoe you have laced for me. It is well. I forgive you. I will forgive you even at the point of my death. Thank you. Also, I consider it done. <laughs> That's why I'm a king. Oh, instinctive. Really? Oh, um, I'll call. I'll call you back. What is this? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But my heart has failed me. And I do not want to die untimely. I'm sorry. Sorry, I am so so sorry. The king deceived me. And I swear, I swear on my life, your husband did not even touch me. He made me sleep on the floor. I'm so sorry. I I I don't know what came over me. <laughs> my lady, please forgive me. I beg you. I it's beg you. I have forgiven you. I will not allow this to happen again. We fight this. I've made up my mind to do it. Talk to me, what happened? I'm 
Can you please excuse us? Yes, my prince. It's okay. <laughs> Did you fight with anyone? Listen, if it is about giving me a male child, you have to stop it, okay? I know we are fertile, and a child will come at the right time. And when he comes, my father will present me to the people as the next king, okay? Black Moon? Ah. Gods of our land. What abomination may have been committed in this kingdom? May this evil not bring an omen that will devour us. May what we don't know or what we don't wish to know come knocking on our doors. To Fiakwa. <laughs> Oh, 
What is going on? Babe. Are you still on this? Do you want to kill yourself? Hmm? Please, whatever it is, just let it go. You know I don't like to see you moody like this. Hmm? Please, whatever it is that is putting you in this condition, please let it go. Greetings, my prince. My lady, food is ready. Oh, should I serve it here? Get the food here. Yes, my prince. So, she finally succumbed to it. I'll reconcile with God soon enough. I will. My lady. My prince. Keep it here. You can go now. Yes, my prince. Your food is here. Come on, eat your food. What sort of nonsense is this? What are you going to call this? What is wrong with you? Father, you have to come and talk to Adora. She's been crying all night, and now she refused to eat. Let her be. Let her be? I told you that she's been crying all night, and now she refused to eat, and you want me to let her be? Yes, she's not ready to tell you why she's crying. Then let her be. Father, please. Help me talk to her, please. Keep secret things secret. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make or my you. Oh. Whatever that has to do with life. Whatever that can take or give life. Be careful. What did she say that, she's, that is wrong with her? Nothing. 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 Why is she doing this to me? One thing you must learn when you become king is endurance. Go sit with her, if possible. Make her feel like a woman. I should solve it.
Do you want anything else? No. More meat, more rice, wine, whatever. What do you want? Good. Bon appétit. Why didn't you tell me Akata was here? Sorry, Lannister. Leave, leave this place. Akata, you came unannounced. To what do I owe this visit? What have you done, Igwe Kala? I know I am going to die. So whatever I have done does not bother me. Hmm. Let your words live with you. My dear, why did you opt for this kind of place? You know it doesn't befit my status. Yeah, I know. I just want us away from praying eyes. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's nothing wrong with this place. Mm -hmm. I like it. Hey, hey, I can you stop it. Stop what? I'm with Obina, not the prince. Just tell me what I want to hear and I'll say yes. I know, I know, you know. We have had good times in the past and then... Uh, I don't think you deserve to be a second wife. Do I look like someone that cares if she gets married to you as a third wife? Just say it and I will say yes. Belly. Yes. Seriously. Say it. Say it. We need to talk. What is it? I am pregnant. You are pregnant? Wow. This is good news. We need to celebrate this. <laughs> I got, yeah. Wow, I love this. Nice. Wow, come on. Um, come on, we need to celebrate this. Um, where do we go now? Come, 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 come. This is good, good news, come on. What happened to my baby? Huh? Your Highness, I have tried all I could, but the baby refused to cry. The doctor will not allow me to see the child yet. Maybe it is because of the gender of the baby. Please, let us not dwell on this gender thing. A child is a child. At the end of this all, 
we will have no one to present to the people that's the next game. You still haven't told us the gender of the baby. Oh, don't mind me. A baby girl should have cried. Baby girl? Oh, no. no. Be honest, what I'm saying in essence is that a baby girl should have cried louder than a baby boy. Congratulations, it's a baby boy. <laughs> We are going to drink till daybreak. Grab my permission. <laughs> we are going to finish everything. At least nobody will curse us. They will not call us drunk calf for drinking to the arrival of our future king. Exactly. Oh, yes. As I'm going to deal with this one now, I'm going back to that one. And I know I will finish that one too. <laughs> but that boy doesn't look like Obi now. Don't you observe it? Does he look like your grandfather? Ask him! Is your grandfather as handsome as that baby? You just put your mouth on top and you ta 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 Is everything wrong in asking questions? Yes, yes! What stupid question is that? Igwe, don't mind him. Still joy! Please, let's drink, let's drink! <laughs> taking my son to ah. your son how can you claim to be a father of a child that does not belong to you my son. Is he alright? Yes, he is. But he doesn't look like us. Father, you see, he has a big head, big nose, small ear, hairless. Oh, come on. Sometimes a child does not look like anyone until he gets to a certain age. I saw a man in my dream. He was taking the baby away and he even... Um, 
we should not be talking about that now. What we should be speaking about is your father Vespa and how to present you before the people during that festival. Father, I'm ready anytime. Good. As I was saying, I saw a man in my dream and he was taking the baby away. In whose dream? In my dream. It was only a dream. Kingship is a divine appointment. You can never turn down the will of God. Though it may delay, but must surely come to stay. Be careful what you do. My love, we are here. You hardly stay in my room since the birth of our baby. Is everything all right? I do not want to talk. I need to be left alone. My love, whatever the problem is, I love you. You are my king. Father, the annual blood for blood sacrifice will be next week. Oh, I have that in mind. And we need to name the child before that. You call your son the child? That is unheard of. I'm sorry, Father. Better be. Now, do you have any name in mind for him? No, Father. You don't have any name in mind up till this moment? Father. To be honest with you, I'm unable to bond with him. I've tried so much to do that, but it's very difficult for me. I can't even hold him in my arms for a long time. Well, it's okay. I'll give him a name. We will call him Obunaya. Obunaya? Yes. One of these represents your father. And the other two represent my son and I. Your son? Has he the blood of your father's flowing in his vein? I don't understand. I hope you do. A hawk can never live in a nest meant for the human bird. Please calm down. So I could understand you. That child in the palace. What about him? He is a strange frog in a familiar pond. I still don't understand you. Have you asked your father questions? What questions? How old is your son? A few weeks old. You know, the last time I was here, you said... Oh, go home. I will send for you. I... I do not want to go experience home. another loss. This was exactly what happened before my brother died. I said, go home. I will send for you. 
I will not go anywhere until you tell me what I need to know. Go home and ask your father to unfold what he has tied and bound. What do I need to know, please? Go home. Why is it that whenever I come here, I live with bad news? You came with bad news. You go with bad news. What do I need to know? What you need to know? Debbie keeps saying some strange things about the child. Come on, son. I have told you to stop referring to your son as the child. I'm sorry, father. Now, did Debbie say he won't make the sacrifice? No. Then go back and finish it. He said he will send for me. And I am telling you as your father and as your king to go back. Can't we leave it for tomorrow? You are too stubborn. And that was why you dropped out of secondary school. Do you have to remind me that all the time? Leave my presence. I just said, leave my presence. <clears throat> my father, the king, wants us to proceed? Yes. Lift the cocks. Proceed. I am here on behalf of my father, King Igwekala, for his annual blood for blood sacrifice. These three cogs represent my father, myself, and my son, Obonaya. This is the bad news. It is not my making. We can try once more. I have other three cocks in my car. I am here on behalf of my father, King Igwekala, for his annual blood for blood sacrifice. These three cocks represent my father, myself, and my son, Obunaya. Don't even ask for another chance because it is impossible. Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do? 
to bring back dignity and royalty in place. Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do? Ask your father what he is hiding from you. If he doesn't tell you, it will kill you. went almost well. Almost well? What do you mean? It was difficult at first. Is that what you meant by almost well? Yes. One day, you will look back and thank me for this. Him. What could this mean?
shouldn't be doing this alone. Let me help you. Mm -mm. Two people don't share in a cause. Meant for one. Leave me to my cause. A cause? What cause, my prince? Please mind your business. But my prince... Two dreams happened in a few minutes. I couldn't sleep last night. If you were not the prince of Isiala Kingdom, I would have spat on your face. Did I not tell you to ask your father what he is hiding from you? Do you want to die before your time? I... He, he refused talking to me. Then you are not a man. You want to die for what you know nothing about? I, I, I'm scared. I don't want to die. Oh, for the second dream, if you must know. The throne of Isiala Kingdom will come under a tug of war because of what your father did. Is Ibezim going to be the man at the end of the rope? Oh, I did not mention names. I only said, what will happen? I'm going to go now, 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 Ibezim, <laughs> you are a true son of Isiala. Iwe, that's not all. For the 20 young men I trained in secondary school, I am ready to sponsor them to university level. Hey, the lion of Isiala. What could we have done without you in Isiala? Yeah? <laughs> Only you single-handedly built two town halls, <laughs> gave us pipe bond water, employed 30 of our youths in your company, mm -hmm. and you are still doing more. Igwe, may our gods flourish you. <laughs> Igwe, and stay counting. Hey. Now, I want you to calculate the cost of a fella. I mean the total cost of a fella. I'll take care of it. Hey! The lion of Isiala. <laughs> Only who must hear what you have just said. Uh, huh? Amen. May the gods bless you and flourish you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You don't have to involve I hope all is well. All is not well. Father, the water is up to my neck. We need to talk. Do you realize that you're in front of a very important visitor? Then I'll wait outside. When you're done, we must talk. You may say, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, you will not have to be sorry. 
I regret his dropping out of school. Otherwise, I would have taken him to Abuja. He will mix with dignitaries, very important people in this society, the checkers and movers in Abuja. Unfortunately, I recently discovered he could not read or write. Yeah, please, I don't want to remember that at all. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, I have to be going anyway. Yeah, it's okay. You have done well. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Igwe. Igwe, man. Igwe. Go well. You should have been more polished than this. I will talk to you when I'm done with my father. What was the meaning of that trouble? Tell me, what are you hiding from me? The next time you barge in on me, when I have a very important guest, I will give you the shock of your life. Father, tell me, what are you hiding from me that is about to ruin my life? I don't have time for this. Father, tell me, what are you hiding from me that is about to ruin my life? Talk to me! Father! You look very sad and you're crying. What is it? You can talk to me. Don't cry, please. Whatever it is, there's definitely a solution. Don't cry yourself. Please, my princess. Are you all right? I guess you're here to ask the same question. Father, would you want your only surviving son to die? Tell me what you did. We could have appeased the gods. Uh, because it's obvious I'm the escape goat. You don't have to worry about that. I've got that covered already. So you really did something. My life is at stake here. Omen is looking around. I will be the one to tell you whose life is at stake. I am your father. I know when an omen is lurking. Father, why are you doing this? Obina, I need to rest now.
the prince of Isiala kingdom. You haven't said anything. My father has hardened his heart. Oh, my prince, you are no longer a child. Why don't you want to tell me what my father did? The prince of Isiala kingdom, I am not a homebreaker. Whatever I do must be in accordance with the details of the gods. Last night in my dream, a masquerade chased me into a river. I was almost drowning. When no one came to my rescue. My prince, I don't interpret dreams. But this one is another omen. The only person you can trust now to tell you all you need to know is the know. But he may be scared to tell you how another pistol was used in your mortar. A pistol used in my mortar. Does a pistol signify? Um, Your Highness, excuse me. I'll be in the kitchen. I ask, what does a pistol signify? There are many things a father does for the sake of his son. Many things. Father, you've not answered my question. Whatever you call it, it cannot start. I can swear by my chin that you know what that signifies. And you must tell me when I come back. kitchen. to say. I am sorry. What does a pesto signify? I am sorry. What does a pesto signify? I am sorry. And Sami, what does a pesto signify? I know you know it. Are you ready to tell me the truth?
Did you sleep with my wife? What nonsense! How can you accuse me of sleeping with your wife? I asked you a very simple question. Did you sleep with my wife? I cursed your mouth for asking that stupid question. How dare you? Do you know the implication of what you just said? Don't let me curse you with this offer for saying that. Get out of my palace now. Get out if I curse you. Whatever that has to do with life. Gosh. Whatever that can take or give Stop in my community. Yes, yes, yes. Be careful. Handle with respect. Because it is so sacred. My prince, you didn't try at all. You didn't. You have to go and apologize to your father for accusing him wrongly. I did not accuse him. I only asked him a question. Hmm. When you ask your wife, are you a bad cook? What you've invariably done is that you've called her a bad cook. When a son meets the father and says, Father, if you were not my father, I would have called you a stupid man. What he has done is that he has called the father a stupid man. Do you understand me? I've heard you. Good. We are getting closer to the truth. It will only take some time, but the truth must surely come out. Oh no, this whole thing is taking my sense away. <laughs> if you survive this, you will be the greatest king that we've ever had in this Yala kingdom. Mm. Trust me. Is that right? Okay. Oh. Hello. Yeah. I'll take my leave now. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Be a man, eh? It's okay. All right. Once again, I, I said I'm sorry. Obi, now, what you did was not only abominable, but unfathomable. I'll forgive you only if you come forth with a four-legged animal. What? That's my condition. Okay, you get a goat. I just said what you did or said was abominable. You get a cow. It's better. I will arrange for the cow. Good. I'm sorry, once again. I want you to learn something and learn it good for the betterment of your life. When you finally become king, don't make decisions in a hurry. Think through the process before you decide. Because any wrong decisions you make will haunt your subjects for the rest of their lives. Thank you, Dad. Now, can you tell me what you did that can ruin my life? I have told you that it has already been sorted out. But I still have nightmares. 
and they still haunt me. Well, it is your mind that deceives you. Some bad dreams come from the mind. I don't believe mine is so. But come on, son. Should we argue all the time about this? Let us a drink. Let's clear our heads. I don't want to drink. Fine. Then find yourself something to make you happy. Thank you once again. Some things are better learnt at the feet of your father. Where is the child? A go to him to her room. Why were you sorry? Hmm? Um, <clears throat> nothing. I mean, I don't know. Can I get you something to eat? Okay, <laughs> Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring... I can see what is going on in the palace. I want to be the next king of Isiela until Obina has a male child that is his flesh and blood. How did you know this? The young man who got Adara pregnant is my boy. He was once my driver. Ibezim, you cannot force me to put my hands into a burning coal. I cannot do what you are asking me to do. That's it. Image a gift. You must do it. Who are you to talk to me that way? <laughs> Who are you? You slept with the wife of the blacksmith and killed him, claiming it was the guards who killed him for sleeping with another man's wife. How did you know? <laughs> do you want us to discuss it at the Council of Elders meeting? Ibezim, you are evil. <laughs> All I want you to do is to make the young man Obina have countless sacrifices until he loses his senses. Make him believe so much in you, more than himself. With that, I'm fine and okay. I'll bring my money to you when I become the king. How about that? You have done well. Yes. Now we can talk about the blood sacrifice. Are you ready for it tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Then come with plenty pan wine. It's all right. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, I've been meaning to ask you. Why did you stop coming to the palace? I will not step my foot in that palace until Igwe tells you the truth. Until the palace is cleansed. Enough.
what you do not know will not know you. I have washed away the bad luck from your father. Go. Do not look back. Do not talk to anyone. Obina. At this hour, kindness is not real. In short, nothing is real. Is there anything you need us to talk about? You were in that dream. What dream? No, it is not his making. I... I had a terrible nightmare last night. 
I know. Well, uh, the sacrifice. I didn't work. Did it? Go home, Obina. It will take time to manifest. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Why am I still toasticated? Why? It's all right. Obina. Uh -huh. The sacrifice is working. It's all right. Keep sacred things sacred. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make or my you. Whatever that has to do with life. <laughs> My husband has been drunk for two days. He has taken no food. And he smells of blood and palm wine. He'll be fine. Just make sure you take uh, Obonai out of his sight. My king, I am scared. I am worried. What oh, come on. Except you're going to tell him. No one is going to tell him. Just go and take care of the baby. Cautious and careful in life to avoid regrets and living in grief. Be faithful to your cause and your subjects. Always be genuine and honest. Follow due process in life. Keep sacred things. Sacred, there is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do, can Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, the worst has happened. My husband has gone mad. What is it again? He, he is talking to himself and fighting something that I cannot see. Listen, young woman, go and sleep in the guest room. He will be fine. Yeah, 
Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Are you alright? Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and harmony in place? Welcome. Uh, how come you're here so early? I hope all is well. I summoned them. Why? To tell them that I will not come out on a father day. What? You wouldn't do that. But I know I don't talk two times. I stick to my words. Obi, you cannot possibly say that. Are you not aware that we will be presenting you before our people as our next king? I do not care. I am not interested. you to go into this with your father. In fact, I have always admired you since you were a boy. I admired your calmness as a person. I will advise that you don't start this with your father right now. I will not change my mind. Well, in that case, you are opening the door for another man to keep that crown when your father departs. I cannot change my mind or no. Thank you. been true mm -hmm. can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty I don't understand your question. What are we in this town? What are we to the king? Ojuku. Yes. What do you want me to do? Mm. Why are we silent? Why are we behaving as if we don't know what Obina is saying? To tell you the truth, mm. 
I consulted a seer. And he told me that Obina is being rebuilt. Rebuilt? How? The way it is happening now. Mm. Did the seer not tell you that the palace needs cleansing? Are you aware of that? Although, I'm not a small boy. My prince, the king summons you. My prince, go and tell him I don't have a king. What? My Shuma, prince, Shuma, just get out. He said, What did he say? He said I should get out. Go and tell him I want him here now. But, Your Highness, go and tell him I said I want him here now. All right, Your Highness. My prince, when was the last time I raised my hands on you? You have never raised your hand against me. And I do not want to start today.
I sent Chuma to call you. He said he wanted to see me. And I told him I do not have a king. What insolence. Why would you say such a thing? Do you realize the implication of what you just said? Do you realize what you're about to do to my life? Do you? Anyway, I do not care anymore. I am going to destroy this kingdom and I will take my own life. Instead of the gods taking my life for what she committed. Come on now. I am tired of everything. I am tired of making sacrifice that doesn't work. I am tired. I am tired of being me. I am tired. Oh, I am tired. Calm down. <sighs> Calm down, Prince of Wala. Anyway, anyway, you've tried. I'll always remember you. Thank you. Do, do anything stupid. Gods of our land. Do not allow him to take his life. Please, gods of our land, do not allow him to take his life. Oh, gods of our land. Father, Father, you will regret ever making me pass through this. You're going to regret it. Whatever that has to do with life Whatever that can take or give life Be careful, handle with respect Because it is so separate Whatever that has to do with life Whatever that can take or give life My love, you scared me. Do you want anything? No. In case if I die in this fight, I want you to name him Obina if he's a boy. Nana, if she's a girl. Amazing. 
Please talk to me. What is this? What is going on? Please talk to me, please. Well, ma'am, he's lucky the night didn't cut through the radia and honor actress. If not, it would have been fatal. Um, I'll be on my way now. I'll come back and check on him. Thank you, doctor. Well, ma'am, make sure he takes his medication properly as I instructed. Please. Thank you. Doctor. It's all right. I'll have to be on my way now. If he had taken his own life, his blood would have been against you all. Your kingdom would have seen a great death. May the gods forbid. Oh no, why haven't you acted as expected? Wise one. I was under the king's oath. <laughs> the king's oath? Then why are you here this time? Uh, the prince of Bingna refused to be part of your father. Go! Go and talk to the famous DB of your time. Ask him questions. He has answers for them. If she did not ask you to come, you wouldn't have come or no. There is something I've come to realize. And that is, you cannot snap your fingers without the phone. Go home. It is too late. But we have questions to ask you. Yes, you have questions to ask you. I cannot answer your questions. Go home. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty in place? Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do? What is he doing here? What is he doing here? The things you have passed through will make you a real man. Father, I do not have all the time. Please go straight to the point. I've told you my mind. So trying to convince me, it will not work. Obina, all I ask for is your forgiveness. I also want you to forgive your wife. We did all that for your sake. What do I need to forgive her for? Oh, her unfaithfulness, I guess. What she did was to save our lineage. To save this throne. Not someone else would have taken over this throne. Father, I never told you I would not make a male child. I never told you I do not love my daughter Adapa. 
if I wanted to fix things, I could have taken a second wife. Obina, that's not what we are talking about. You cannot be presented as the next king, except you have an heir. Father, you made my wife sleep with another man. You. I lost my senses. I saw hell. I'm sorry. I did it because of you. I did it because of the love I have for you. You know how much I love you. Please, I'm sorry. I don't ever want to see that child in this palace again. Never. They told me not to marry you because you're not educated. But I married you because you're a good man. Because I love you. And I know that you are still a good man. Father is dead. What? Whatever that has to do with life, whatever that can take or give life, be careful, handle with respect, because it is so sacred whatever that has to do with life whatever that can take or give life be careful handle with, with respect because it is so sacred be cautious and careful in life 
to avoid regrets and living in grief. Be faithful to your cause and your subjects. Always be genuine and honest. I forgive you. I'm sorry for calling you people out at this time of the night. The great Iroko has fallen in the Siala Kingdom. Adora brought the sad news to me today. <clears throat> it is indeed a very great loss. Very, very unfortunate. But who are we to question the gods? Let us keep this sad news under wraps for now. We'll converge later to deliberate on what next to do. Okay? <sighs> the Siala Kingdom has been enveloped in darkness. May the gods console us in this our moment of grief. You see... Did you complain of any sickness? I must say that this is a mysterious death. We were with him the other day and he was very healthy. But I heard there that a great Dibia was here yesterday. Why did he see it? Ofoka. The Dibia was here for something else. I know what I am saying. If it's a strong Dibia as he claimed, he would have stopped it from happening. My elders, we cannot question the gods. What we should be discussing now is how to give our late king a befitting burial. Hmm. My others, there is a problem. What? The sacred calabash is missing. What are you talking about? Huh? I think someone took it away. Huh? To where? That is trouble. Big trouble. The question we should be asking now is, what do we do? We cannot crown another king without the sacred calabash. Exactly. Um, my elders, I think what um, we should be discussing now is how to give our late king a befitting burial. At the right time, we will look for the calabash, and I'm sure we'll find it. I, I think you are absolutely on point, you know. That's what we should do. <clears throat> My elders, oh, no. um, I want us to plan 
for the funeral ceremony of our late king. As you all know, it's going to be a very big one. Oh no. Uh -huh. it is. Uh, my people. Come on. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I just want to continue. It's okay. Dalu? Uh -huh. Hey. So, um, um, we are going to set up committees. Uh -huh. uh, the cows, go, all the animals we are going to kill. My others, you're welcome. Thank you. I want to use this opportunity to thank you all for the effort you put during my father's funeral. You made it easy. You made it so easy for me and my family. And I've decided to gift you with a cow. My friend, you. you've done very well. Thank you so much. You see, we were not expecting this. We only contributed our quota in order for us to give our late king a befitting burial. Uh, we're, we're happy that everything went well. Yes. My face. Your son is sick. Hmm? Tell the mother to call Dr. Mezier. He's vomiting blood. She must do what I asked you to do. Did you hear what he said? Yes, my friend. My prince, if he's vomiting blood, then it is a serious issue. Uh -huh. The doctor will take care of that. Just like that. Thank you once again. My good elders of this year's kingdom. Hello. Hello. I greet you all. Thank you. And I summon you because what is stronger than the cricket is about creeping into its hole. <clears throat> what could that be? Our brother here, Ibezim, came to my house last night. He said something. I would like him to say to you all by himself. Ibezim, over to you. Oh no. Could this be an act of cowardice? Tell them what I told you. Don't be afraid. I, a coward. Well, I would want you to say it by yourself. Please. Is there anything there? Who will quarrel? Who will not? I, I, I told them all that I am a fit and proper person to be the next king of our kingdom. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Why will you utter such an abomination before this distinguished council? What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? It is you and your father that are out of your mind. Oh, stop, 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 stop it! Okay, you think you can intimidate me? What is wrong with you? Ibezim. Come on, man. Please. Tell us, tell us, tell your kinsmen that you never said such a thing. Do I have water in my mouth? Ibezim. The swan, Udogugu. And all our gods do together that you, Ibezim, will never ever utter such a thing. It is evil even to think of it. Ibezim, such a thing has never ever happened in the history of Ishala. But Ibezim, 
How could you say a thing like that? Have you forgotten our tradition? Don't talk to him. Remind him maybe he has forgotten. This is madness. It and is you. you. You are wretched father. You are entire generation. That are mad. Somebody should reign in this mad man. I can only allow you to take over the throne when I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> then you are sitting on the edge of a rope for a tug of war. He's an offspring of a chameleon, not expected to be a good dancer. <laughs> Then we will see how it dances well when the real music begins. I am not afraid of your rant. The son of a lion does not feed on the grass. Stop! Tell him! <clears throat> sit down. Oh no, I will not sit down. I said sit down! I said I will not sit. Let me tell you. A listening ear will not be cut off in the head. Sit down! I'm not afraid, Olu. Olu, since this nonsense started, you've not uttered a word. You've been mopping, pretending as if you know nothing about it. I want you to say something. Tell us what you know about this show of shame. Oh no, my fellow elders, my prince, I greet you all. This is the first time I'm hearing this. I never heard it before. You are a liar. How could you say your brother is planning a thing like this, an evil thing like this? You never mentioned it to you any day. Don't call me that again. Don't call me that again. Oh, oh it's okay. We are not here to treat insults. Okay? I hear you. Ojuku, please go ahead. Thank you, no. As I was saying, this is the first time I'm hearing this. But, please, I seek for your permission to speak with a basin outside. Go ahead. Thank you very much, Olo. What has come over you? Why were you disgracing yourself before them? I knew it. I knew you would never stand by me. Ibezi, you are going too far. Do you know what you are asking for? Obina never said he was not ready to be the king. Brother? Yes? Let me ask you, why are you always against my progress? Ibezi, what you are asking for is not progress. You are asking for debt. I hate you. Thank you. I cursed the day you were born. Thank you very much. You have never for one day wanted my progress. Okay. Good. Good, you know, I never wanted your progress. But let me tell you one truth. In our lineage, there is no trace of kingship. Maybe you have quickly forgotten that our forefather was an outcast. Osu. You were a coward. Yes. Just call me a coward. And I'm ready to say it again. What kind of a weakling are you? Ibesin, you call me your brother weakling? You heard me right. Thank you very much. You never insulted me before. Now I can see the devil at work. But let me tell you one truth. Cut me out of this madness.
fellow elders, please. I'm sorry. You people think I'm stupid. Please, as I was saying, my fellow elders, my prince, I'm sorry. I am not part of this madness. Count me out of it. Please. I'm going. Basin. Let us assume that you never say such a thing. Your voice irritates me right now. Come. What has come over you? Give it to me. Okay. Chief Ibezim, nobody with your kind of blood will ever sit on this throne. I will never disappoint my forefathers by allowing you to sit on this throne <laughs> over my dead body. <laughs> but you spat on your forefathers when you allowed the abomination enter into the household. Chief Ibezim, let me make something clear. And perhaps admonish. There is a saying among our elders that the genitals of an old man is not a plaything for kids. The throne of Isiala is not a child's play. It belongs to Obin here, the son of our late Igwekala. And he has not indicated that he is not capable of ascending the throne. <laughs> Tell me. Why didn't the king present him as the next king? Tell me. Uh, <coughs> even though the king died mysteriously, he would have presented him official uh -huh. as his heir. There is something you people did not know. Obinna here has no male child. Our tradition says that the king must present his son during the Ofala. But Ibekala did not present him. It is a Odina has a child. His name is Obona. <laughs> By another man. Basin, what are you talking about? Obinna, you did not tell them. No, you did not tell them. Ibezim, what is going on? What, eh? what, what is he talking about? Who? Oh, you want to bring a curse upon us here by bringing another broad as the heir of the throne of Isiala. Impossible. Answer that question. Besides, the king did not tell me anything about it. So, what do we do? If what Ibezim is saying is correct, then we cannot crown Obina the king. Neither can we crown uh, Ibezim, whose grandfather is Anosu, our king, the king of uh, Isiala. No. Let us summon Obinna's wife for question. Ibekwe, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you really think we need a king now? Do you want me to be honest with you? Oh, yes. 
Oh no. Yes. I think we have to play with caution. We have to ask questions before we crown anybody king. Or we can let another man keep the crown until Obina has a child that is a son, a son that is his own blood. Okay, now let me tell you what I think. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If Obina says that child belongs to him and he wants us to crown him king, we will support him. We will go ahead and crown him the king of Isiala. Mm -hmm. That is what we will do. Oh no. Yes. Without the sacred calabash. See, two things are not in place here. Remember. Huh. Yes, we can do that with the help of the gods. Mind you, the gods are aware of what is happening. Besides, we've not heard that a king cannot be crowned simply because there is no sacred calabash. Yes, that mm. calabash is just to protect the throne and not the symbol of royalty. But do we have to let that happen in our own time? Oh no. What is your name? Ibekwe. We will cross the bridge when we get there. <laughs> you are sure of that? Yes. In this matter. No. Hey. I have done more than enough to that innocent boy. I gave you two million naira, and I'm ready to give you more. All I want for you is to make him useless and dumb until the crown is given to me. You can as well come to the palace and tell him that the gods will kill him if he becomes the king. Ibezim. That is too much. The gods will take my life. <laughs> the gods will do you nothing because they're already against the boy. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> you are evil. Eh? So this is it. So this is it. Huh? It is not what you think. You are evil. You are evil. You are, you are, you are evil. I'll kill this man. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll, I'll kill you, this man. Who will I use? Who? Who? Hi. My prince. What? What is it? Obunaya is dead. Take two guards with you and bury him. My prince! Won't you come and see him? I said go and bury him. Yes, my prince. <laughs>
Oh, I'll greet you, my elders. Thank you. Thank you, Obinna. Obinna, you know why we are here. You are putting on the royal bracelet. And you must not tell a lie <laughs> while wearing it. You cannot tell us a lie. If he lies to us, <laughs> we will make him to hold your phone and say seven times. Of course, he can. Can we just allow him to talk? Yes, he will talk because we don't have all the time in the world. Oh, yes. Let him talk. <clears throat> Ufoka. <clears throat> Kano. Both of you should be aware that you are not first class chiefs. Therefore, you should stay within your boundaries. Okay? No, no. Uh, this has nothing to do with being first class or second class. This has to do with all of us. Okay. Prince Obinna, is the child yours or not? The child is not my child. No. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. This is just what Ibezin was telling us about. No, we do not need further proof. Obina, we cannot crown you the king of this Sela kingdom. The gods will kill all of us. Neither will you presume to become the king. Uh, Ofoka, mm. I have something important to do at home. I also do. Alambim. He didn't bother to ask how he died. I do want to ask. Perhaps the gods did. Are you happy that he died? Are you sad? That he died. Tell me. I have told you never to allow anyone to see you until you deliver. I am under house arrest then. You can call it whatever you like. I understand exactly what you're trying to say. But the job is, I don't want you to panic at all. The sacred calabash has been missing for a very long time. And Obinna can never be crowned the king of this Yala without it. It's not oh. possible. Is that the reason for the delay? We cannot tell you lies. Seize this opportunity now to do all that you need to do if you want to be the Igwe of Isiala Kingdom, the two of us here are solidly behind you. But if I may ask, oh. what happened to the sacred calabash? We once heard that Igwe Kal killed an innocent maid. I also heard that he impregnated the maid before killing her. It's not about hearing, it's a fact. It happened. Oh, Melie, I've not heard of this. You should have told me this earlier. Mm, that is why we are here. We have come to discuss this very important issue. I still want to ask, what happened to the missing Calabash, secret Calabash? You have not told me anything about it. Igwe Kal brought a strong Bibia to close the palace and to appease the secret Calabash. But the strong Dibia vanished with the calabash. And that same day, Igwe died. I tell you. And nobody knows where the Dibia came from. I will reward any man that will show me where that Dibia lives. Ije Ibezim, there is something I want you to do. 
you have to embark on a journey to Abagana to meet a certain native doctor. Hmm? He will fortify you, Obege Kaka, the Kamwado, and then give you a calabash that you will use for the rites and the sacrifice. <laughs> That's a fake calabash. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Don't call it that. If you call it Abo, whatever you call your dog, that is his name. Oh, yeah. If you call it fake, or Basalo. Yes. <laughs> Yes. We all know that the secret calabash is missing. How do we crown Obin a king without it? Yes. Uno, you know, I've been worried about this. And I've asked you this question several times. How do we go about this? <clears throat> My fellow elders. I know. You will all agree with me that. Uh, we cannot stay without a king. Yes. So what I would suggest is this. Let us crown Obina mm. as our king. Mm. We can look for the calabash anytime and I'm sure we'll find it. Mm. Yes. Do you agree with me? Oh no. Yes. Obina has agreed that that child does not belong to him. How do we crown him king with an heir? It is not our tradition. Ojuku. Oh no. We now have an heir. Eh? I I don't understand. <laughs> Adora eh. gave birth to a baby boy last night. Hey! <laughs> I think she was in food. Why? Great. That's a good news. Uh -huh. Very, very good news. Yeah. But, wow. but, where is the sacred calabash? I think uh, it should not be a problem now. I mean, because, I mean, we can go ahead and kind of be a king. Now that the issue of hair or no hair is already sorted out. I mean, uh -huh. Let's go ahead and do that. If we must crown Obina king, then let us do it now. I think Ujuku is right. Good. So in that case, we need to start buying the items for the coronation now. Exactly. So, that was why I called this meeting. Imbezim is taking this matter too far. And we cannot watch him pour sand into our eyes before we do something about it. Hmm? So what I would suggest is we perform the necessary sacrifice and crown our prince here our king. What do you think? Oh uh, no, we, no, no, you have spoken well. Thank Permit you. me to stand to make my point. Go ahead. <clears throat> Let us see this issue from a different perspective. Mm. Well, we all know that Obina is the rightful successor to the throne of Isela Kingdom. Oh, Nobody yes. is disputing that fact. Mm. But what I'm saying is that the young man has said that the child does not belong to him. Let us not provoke the gods. Let Ibezim ascend the throne of Isiala, pending when Obina will get an heir and the sacred calabash found. Okokumkota, just sit down. What exactly are you trying to tell us? Ojuku, yes. What I am saying is that Ibezim mm -hmm. should be given two or three years <laughs> to ascend the throne and put things in order. Depending when Obina will get an heir and the sacred calabash found. It is, it, it is very clear. Very clear. Kano, if not that you are a titled man, I would have asked a major to fill your. Don't say that. But, 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 but,
What is wrong with what uh, Kano has just said? Oh. Eh? What is wrong there? Look, but if you don't accept, any one of them who finds that secret calabash between that Ibezin and Obina will be made the, the, the next secret. Oh, do I got it? Badadash. Absolute nonsense. I can see that both of you have succumbed to Ibezin's bribery. Don't point that filthy finger at us. Let me imagine him. You, you, you think? I do not know that uh, Obin has brought the three of you. No, the thing we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what you don't know. You don't overshot your meal simply because you are rich. This year, kingdom cannot be forced to do what is wrong simply because we seem to be under pressure. We will not allow somebody who has no kingship blood in his lineage to sit upon the throne of this kingdom. It has never happened before, and it will not happen now. Ichi Ojuku, there is nothing like kingship blood. The competent and most capable person should ascend the throne. Yes. Is that not what our tradition says? Yes. I, I see you people want us to die for another man's cause. Uh, Akama Hey, Kano, just keep shut I will not shut up. Ojuku, I will not. Keep your mouth shut. Don't provoke me. Okay. What kind of nonsense is It's okay. I say it's okay. I'll greet you, my elders. You're welcome, my, my friends. Prince. I am pleased to announce to you the arrival of my son, Prince Obinaya Ibukala. <laughs> my prince, this is good news. Very good news. Now we have something to celebrate. Yes. Hello. Oh, no. Yes. Please, I want you to wear him the way of presenting to you. I will do just that. I will do that, my prince. We know. Tomorrow, we go immediately and buy all the items needed for the sacrifice. Yes. And the eventual coronation of our prince. He is our king eventually. My prince. Oh no. We'll perform the sacrifice tomorrow. Hmm? Good. My elders. Oh no. <laughs> this meeting is over. Let's go. <laughs> he's angry and he's still collecting cola. Do not buy him. My prince. Oh no. We've actually bought the items for the sacrifice. Hmm? Um, we are going to perform the sacrifice tonight. Hmm? As soon as the first cock grows. For the coronation, we'll do it immediately after or maybe in the morning. Hmm? Is that okay by you? Oh no. Mm. Thank you so much. Good. My others. My prince. I thank you so much too. Thank you are welcome, you. my prince. And uh, please, my prince, very important. Remember, for now, keep away from any woman. Even your wife. That one is very important. Hmm? I will. His wife gave back to the boy. Oh. Are you sure he's telling you the truth? It is the truth. Yes. He can't lie in such a case. Yes. Uh, he has a royal bracelet. Uh, then you should have told him that secret calabash must be provided <coughs> before the coronation. We tried, but we couldn't convince them. They want to crown him king secretly. And when would that be? Tomorrow. And now listen, if both of you are on my side, you must do everything within your power to stop it. Oh. We are on your side. But you have to go to Abagana. There is a strong Dibia there. He will give you another calabash. <laughs> Once you come back, you are the king of the Siala kingdom. Chivibazim, one thing beats my imagination. Why will your brother, Ojuku, be against this ambition of yours? I, I think you should get rid of him. Because I, I won't spare him. Eh? I, I, I call Nyanzi. That one. Forget about that fool. I know how to get him. Drink, drink, please, and be <laughs> happy. 
Very sweet wine. But how many percentage is the alcohol there? It doesn't look like what we've been investigating. <coughs> ah. <coughs> what you are asking for might take your head. <coughs> it is very difficult. I came all the way from Isiala to seek your help. My people are in darkness. They need to see the light. <laughs> and I'm the one to give them light. <laughs> Let me see your palm. You can never turn down the wheel of God. Though it may delay. But my shine. <laughs> a monkey and a gorilla look alike, but a monkey is a monkey and a gorilla is a gorilla. I don't see you as a king, but if you want me to help you, I will help you, but you shall face the consequences alone. No problem. You are desperate. I am not desperate. I am one who loves my people. They are in darkness. I need to give them light. I am the one to liberate them. Are you calling the gods blind? I am one who loves my people. I need to liberate them. I love the culture and traditions of my forefathers. <clears throat> like I said, I will help you. But you will bear the consequences. If you fail, you will take your own life. Say again, the consequences will build upon your head if you fail. I have given it a thought before now. Do not come back to me, no matter the circumstances. <sighs> I've heard you. Calabash, don't forget what I told you. And do not come back to me when the flame begins to consume you. I will come back to reward you when I become the king of Isiala. <clears throat> you can have it. Now go. One more thing. Do not let it touch the ground without a sacrifice in it. Else, it will take your own blood. <laughs>
Are you out of your senses? Do you hear my horn? Or do you want to die? It is you that will die before sunset. You evil man with a very dubious heart. Do you know who you are talking to, old woman? Chipli the lion. Do you want me to push the whole of police division to lock you up? Shut up. A dead man cannot lock up a strong woman. Go home and enjoy the doom that you have brought home. Now listen, on a very last note, if you don't take this your lazy old body out of this world, I will crush you and nobody will ask of you. I said shut up. Oh, damn. <laughs> if you are a very strong man, let me see how you will move that car. And when you're done, you come for this. <sighs> how did you do this? Do not ask me stupid questions. Don't drop it on the girl, please. Don't let it touch the ground, please. <laughs> give it to me. I can only give this to you if you help me carry the firewood. Ah! Behold me. See, if you me, the lion of his seal to carry a firewood on my head, it's not possible. I think that you're not ready to be a king. If I drop this calabash hey, hey, on the ground, you will go mad. Biko, Biko, please give it to me, please. <laughs> I can only give you this if you carry the firewood. <laughs> carry the firewood. <laughs> Can you mind your business? This is unbelievable. It's going a title chief of Isiala Kingdom carrying firewood on his head. Is this supposed to be a ritual or, or madness? Tell me. Are you blind? Can't you see I'm helping an old woman? Which old woman? Huh? Which old woman? Look at me, Goranya. 
What is wrong with you, Ibezim? What is wrong with you, Ibezim? Ibezim, 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 come, come back here. What do we call this? Eh, how far? Ibezim, 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 What do we call this? What is it? It's me. It's uh, Carlo. Talk to me. Whatever that has to do with life, whatever yeah, that God. can take or give life. <laughs> now who's that? Oh no! Oh no! I have found the secret calabash. <laughs> you did? I told you I would find it. Did you believe me? So where did you find it? Where I found it is immaterial. What is important is that I have found it. And it is with me. <laughs> really? I told you I will be the king of Isiala. Can we go and perform the rituals? Hey, sorry, but can I see the calabash now? <laughs> you want to see it? Be careful what you do. I want to see it. Now, can I be crowned the king of Isiala? <laughs> Elders of Isiala kingdom. I, oh, no. oh, no. oh. I will go straight to the point. Our brother Ibezim here has found our missing sacred calabash. Oh, yes, I did. Huh? Hold on. Where and uh, when did he find it? Where he found it is not important at the oh, moment. The good man. But it is not in our tradition that whoever finds the secret calabash becomes the king. Hey, 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 brother, listen. Listen, you can never stop me from being the king. If any attempt from any of you to do that, I will take back my calabash and leave. You may see, you cannot be king. Impossible, you will never be king. Ujuku, Ujuku, mm. calm down. Calm down, Just hold on. Let us find out first. <laughs> That thing he has is the real secret calabash. Ibezim. That's how we will do it. Uh, Ibezim, if you say what you have with you is our missing sacred calabash, then put it on the table. Yeah. That's what we should be talking about now. <laughs> You have seen what he presented as our missing sacred calabash. So let us see whether it is the real one. It is real. <laughs> Ibiko, 
Bring your phone. Oh no. <laughs> the king is ready to come out. Good. Tell the king to come. We are waiting. King? Which king? Yeah, listen, listen, everybody. I hope you people are not trying to play foul play on me. Because if you do, I will take back my second car batch and, and, and leave. I told you, I told you, I will find the sacred calabash. Um, Your Majesty, like I told you earlier, Ibezi brought this as our missing sacred calabash. I see. Ojuku. Your Majesty. Get me that thing I gave you to keep for me. This is my brother. This is my brother. Very wicked. Very wicked brother. Come from the same room to try. Majesty. If it's him. Ibezim, thank you for fooling around. I knew it. I knew that these people will go and get a fake thing to represent our sacred calabash. This is our sacred calabash. This, this is fake. What was it that you knew? What was it that you knew? Now we will be able to know which is the correct one and which one is not. Uh, keep it in. If you think, uh, like you say, that this is the real calabash, our missing separate calabash, pick the offer and use it to touch the calabash. Must we go through all these processes? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Ibezin, take your offer and touch it on the calabash. <laughs> with what is going on here. I don't understand this conspiracy. You crown the right man as king. Who, who is the right man? Huh? A little child who does not know the name of a bird calls it that bird. He refused to be as foolish as you and the folk. How are you sure that this is the right calabash? If you must know, Akata brought it to me in my house. Oh no! <clears throat> oh no! Oh, oh no! Who knows my name? 
Are you human or spirit? Show yourself! I come in peace. Who are you? I am Akata. Akata? What brings you to my home? Greetings, Onowu. I'm here to give you the secret calabash. It is not cleansed. Take it and keep it safe. <laughs> if the sacred calabash is cleansed, why bring it to me? Why not take it to the palace? Oh no, I'm not stupid. The king is on his way to the other side of the world. And this calabash cannot be in the palace until the new king is be crowned. Take it and keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> Akata, are you saying that the king is about to join our ancestors? I'm not here to tell you that. I'm here to give you the secret calabash. I repeat, keep it safe. <laughs> Why would the gods punish the Igwe for the abomination committed by his daughter-in-law? <coughs> the king was aware of her infidelity, but could not stop her. Because they were desperately looking for a male child. <laughs> it's all right. So, when do we bury the king? Oh no, that is left for your people to decide. My mission here is over. Do not let wisdom to stay away from your palms. Because, <laughs> a lot, I repeat, a lot is going to happen. Thank you, Akata. Remember, the secret calabash should not be taken to the palace until the new king is crowned. Until the royal house is cleansed. <laughs> I greet you. The prince asked me to call you. How are you? Fine, the prince sent me to call you. <sighs> is everything all right? I don't think everything is all right. The king cannot wake up. The prince Obina said I should come and call you right away. It's okay. Tell him I'm coming, eh? If you know. Igwe. So this is it. The spirit of our ancestors, we call upon you. Gods of our land, call upon you to witness this great event. It is not our wish to disturb you 
at this hour of the night. But a frog does not run during the day, except its house is on fire. We call upon you to come from the four corners of the land and accept this our sacrifice. We call upon you to cleanse the land. We call upon you to cleanse our prince. By the powers conferred on me, by the gods of our land, as the traditional prime minister of Isiala Kingdom, and by the dictates of our tradition, I hereby crown you, Igwe Gonabo of Isiala Kingdom. You shall live long. You shall live long. You will go now, boy. A daddy, a daddy, a daddy. My elder. Ego. I greet you all. Ego. I must confess that I'm so glad to have honest men like you in this land. Ichi Ojuku. Igwe. May the gods of our land continue to guide you. Ise. I'll keep you for us. Ise. Very good man. Thank you, Igwe. Your Majesty. Oh no. Ojuku. Oh no. You are a good man. <laughs> you know, other men would have supported their brother to perpetuate evil. But you said no to evil. That stands you out. By this singular act of yours, may you and your entire generation never, ever cross the path of evil. Once again, my elders. I thank you all. Let we go inside and make men. My elders. So that was it. In fact, I am so glad today that today has come to pass like this. What did you say? What happened? Can you make it happen? But I think that rubbish and return it to whatever you, you got it from. You don't. Hey! They will carry me! But I carry my car back here. Hey! They carry me! Ah! I carry my calabash here! They carry me! They carry my calabash here! They carry me! 
Era a carimba da Lamarque! Look at them. Useless elders. Oh no. Ah, Your Majesty. You're a wise man. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ibeko Anojuku. Ibe. I will never forget this. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Igwe! Zuma! <laughs> Get some drinks. Yes, Your Highness. Let's make merry. Yes, Your Highness. Igwe, you know that drink that your father normally gives to me? I know what you like. Igwe! If I'm a little boy, I'm a little boy. Okay. Give it to me. Igwe, have it. Igwe, Igwe. To the living. We are in your dream. I want to thank you for everything you have done for my son and the entire people of Isiala. Our ancestors will reward you. You see, Ola needs to go to rest so that she would not torment the royal household in future. Go to her people. Tell them what happened, so that she might be given a befitting burial. All right, Your Majesty. I will do that. Yeah, but what of your father? My son is ready. He has made up his mind on a date. I want you to stand by him in good. And rebuke him when he turns to evil. I count on you. Take this. It is a sign of love. What is it? Why are you screaming my name? Oh, no. I saw the king in my dream. You did? Yes. He only visited me in my dream. I, I was actually dozing here. Yeah. He talked to me about giving his maid, Ola, a defeating barrier. He told me the same thing. Hey. In that case, I have to go and see Obina tomorrow. I'm telling him about it. Oh no, 
Yes. Why didn't anybody tell me about this? Ah. We had a serious battle on our hands then. Huh? Now that we've won that, we have to face another. Then we have to be fast about it so that her spirit does not begin to haunt the, the royal family. You are very correct. You are very, very correct. Huh? You know what? You go home. Hmm? I will go and see Obina tomorrow. Hmm? So don't worry. Alright. Right. Oh no. Okay. Thank go you. away. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. So, what is it that uh, you wanted to talk to me about? Uh, I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I want to make peace with the chief priest before ah. your father. That's a very good idea. <laughs> so, uh, when do you want me to invite him? Um, for me, I suggest we do it within the week. I would like to go to the shrine today. We can go today if you're less busy. Ah, what will I be doing? <laughs> I'm not busy. Huh? So, um, let me go and dress up. It's okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay. Hey. Your Majesty, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. To, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Ready now. Yes. My king. What is it? The chief priest just died in front of the gate. Chief priest? Yes, or no? Died? They carry me. When they carry my God. They carry me. When they carry my God, oh, oh no, come, 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 the king, I'm the king of Israel. I should do the sacred calabash. Come, the king. You see? <laughs> the evil that men do lives after them. That was before, not now. <laughs> this will serve as a great lesson to others. Look at you, Bezi. Look at you. You have fetched and infested firewood. Is it unto wood? Which one? <laughs> and now be prepared to entertain lizards. Ah, lizard! It's a special delicacy. Look, I ate it during the way everybody will eat lizard. Lizard is so sweet. <laughs> Give me my crown. Okay. Oh, you are you are going to get the king, eh? You are going to get the king. Crown me king. I am the king of Isiela. I am the king of Isiela. Oh no. Oh no, give me my king. Oh no, give me my cup. Oh no, oh no, oh no, give me my cup. Your Highness. My lord, long live the king. My lord, lord. My love. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Where is my son? He's in Ego's room. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. But before we go, I want to say something to you. What is it, my lord? I want to say something first. What is it then? 
Thank you for forgiving me. You are an awesome man. You're welcome, my love. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Sigo 